Well, this September marks 30 years since Hurricane Hugo made landfall in the low country. So throughout the year, we are taking a look back at the storm's impact. Yeah, today we're taking it to Dorchester County. Reporter Stetson Miller there spoke with longtime Somerville resident and local historian Ed West about the storm's effects and how the community came together. Well, it was awful. When, when I came into Somerville, I remember seeing the National Guard at Main Street and Richardson directing traffic and kind of weaving back and forth on Richardson Avenue trying to get to my home. Somerville Dorchester Museum historian and retired pediatrician Ed West recalls coming back into Somerville after spending the night working at Trident Hospital during Hurricane Hugo and said it was the worst hurricane damage he'd ever seen in the area. When finally I got to my home and I couldn't get up the driveway because there was a big tree down the entire length of the driveway. He says several town residents went through and lost a lot during the storm. I realized that there was a lot of suffering going on around me. We were spared. Yeah. My family was spared. But that my neighbors got hit hard. My neighbors right. really got a couple of trees through their roofs. Cleanup took months and power was out for weeks. For two weeks where we lived, okay. we were without le electricity. Was, was that a relief when electricity came out? Oh, wow. It was just wonderful. I, I was standing in the yard and all of a sudden all the lights in my house went on and I. I <laughs> Just cheered. Somerville is known as the flower town in the pines, but unfortunately, some of the worst damage caused by Hurricane Hugo here was the destruction of many, many trees, and it made it very difficult to get around. The trees were just gone, and it would break your heart to see the, the great big tall um, loblolly is just topped. And, and, you know, the top 25, 50 feet of the loblolly is just gone, and yeah. it's just a stick. Despite all the damage and losses, he says there were still some good moments. In the days after Hugo, some neighbors came together and got to know each other a little bit better. There's a lot of, of, why don't you come over tonight, we're cooking what we got in the freezer. And, and um, we were eating pretty well there for a while. For two or three days, we were eating really well. Um, people were out barbecuing, whatever they had. I think that, that there were bright moments of people encouraging each other, which was which was great. In Somerville, Stetson Miller, count on two.